Hello and welcome to this week's Craft and Chat. I'm Amanda Fowler and I'm live on the Inspiring Inkin Facebook page and the Inspiring Inkin YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're here watching live, can you do me a sound and light check? And if you are here watching the replay, thank you so much for joining us today. If you've never seen Craft and Chat before, just to let you know, we have chatting first, <laughs> usually about 20 minutes or so, and then I get on with some crafting. So I've had a really busy time since I last saw you. <laughs> So do please uh, tell me what you've been up to um, whilst I've been gone. Um, I'm sure many of you will have seen my Facebook posts and Instagram posts, uh, but I will sort of share what's been going on with me. So I am just going to double check that I have actually gone live or where I should be, you know. It's, it's always a good idea to check. And I'm clicking all over the place. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a new little icon which says I'm live. That's very cool. OK, so I am live and ready to go. So let's see. Michelle's here. Elizabeth's here. Anne's here. Margaret's here. <coughs> Cloudy and windy in Suffolk, says Anne. It is damp and chilly in Hampshire today. Um, yeah, it's really mizzy and damp. Thank you, Donna. Um, sound and picture is all good in Australia. So, hooray. <laughs> Still blows my mind, Donna, every time. <laughs> that it gets all the way around there. Okay, so um, tell me what you got up to at the weekend. Um, I would love to know. Uh, big things, little things, any things. So share share with us all, let us know what you've been up to. Um, I've got a mountain of stuff to talk to you about today and things to show you and all sorts. So um, whilst people are joining and telling us what you've got up to this past week, I'll kind of catch you up uh, just in case you haven't been um, watching the watching my YouTube and uh, not my YouTube, my Instagram or my Facebook um, page. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. And hi, Karen. Karen, I was going to message you. Um, your frog kit has come. Do you want um do you want to come and get it? Or do you want me to bring it on Saturday with your other stuff? Let me know. Um, so I would I won't text you now. <laughs> okay, so what have I got to tell you? Um I don't know, so many things. Um, so you will know I've been in Rotterdam for I don't know, five or six days. Um, Rotterdam is beautiful. If you ever get a chance to go to Rotterdam, go. I have to say, <laughs> when I first was told that's where it was gonna be, I'm thinking, well, it's an industrial port. Why would I want to go to Rotterdam? But seriously, it's beautiful. Um, we did a little bit of um, gadding about and, and visiting some of the old town and some beautiful windmills. And the rest of the time was taken up with the Stampin' Up! convention, which was fabulous. So, you will or will not know, you may or may not know, that's probably better English, you may or may not know that we have a new catalogue coming in May. This is the new catalogue. 
It's got a really cool image on the front of people crafting, which is exactly what the catalogue is all about. Due to stamping up rules, I cannot, <laughs> cannot show you the inside pages at the moment until it goes live. But um, I will tell you, the catalogue has changed. It's a bit smaller, which I think is a, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> a really good thing. I love the way it's laid out. Um, there's lots and lots and lots of samples. Um, and the samples are on like a single page with the stamps and the dies that go with it. It's yeah, it's it's stunning. We've got bundles that have dies or a punch you can pick. Um and just a huge range of new stamps and new papers and new things and quite a lot of existing and kind of carryover products. As a consequence to all of these changes, obviously, we've got a retiring list. And that is what I'm going to be talking about um, mainly <laughs> in this little section, because there's a few things, quite a few things that you need to know. Um, but I honestly, I am so excited about this new catalogue. I can't tell you. Um, yeah, it, it's, it is really cool. And as for the event, well, the event was amazing. Um, we always get spoiled at stamping up events. Um, they give us lunch and we get free stuff. I got an amazing rucksack and some stamps and some papers and a new kit. Um, and, and I, um, I took part in a, a special after hours crafting session, which was amazing. We had a party with a live band. Um, I was congering with some of my European <laughs> demonstrator friends <laughs> across main stage, which was very funny. <laughs> um, there's there's not that many of us left who started when the company started in Europe. And I think there are about 20 or so of us um, actually out on stage. There's more than that, but not obviously not everyone um, attended. And we just had a party. It was just brilliant. Um, and, you know, I'm truly grateful for uh, these demonstrators that have been brought into my life, people who I would have never met um, otherwise. So, yeah, it's it's amazing. And the best bit is I get to see some of them in a few weeks when we go on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip as well, which is really cool too. Um, so, yeah, so we had a wonderful time. Um, if you've seen the pictures and gone, oh, maybe I maybe I, I think I might like to go. Um, you can. You just need to join my team. Um, that would be awesome. And we're going to Strasbourg next March, which is in France on the border, almost on the border with Germany. Um, so travel hints and tips for Strasbourg would be very welcome. Um, so let's, let's see. So yeah, so had a lovely time. Um, to answer the question, did we go on the ferry? No, went on the Eurostar, but, um, I've been, I travelled on Eurostar, I don't know, five or six years ago because we had, um conventions in brussels and it was last time it was really comfortable and really easy and straightforward it was still easy and straightforward this time but the seats were so uncomfortable they were kind of angled back and although there was adjustment on it you yeah you just ended up really sore so i don't really want to do that again um so I don't know. Um, but I've got a lot of stuff to organise before I can even start thinking about that. Um, but at least we've got the dates for the diary. 
So let's have a look. Okay, Karen, I will make sure it's all in your bag. Anne has been weeding the garden. That is a good job to do. Spring is coming. Hi, Anne. Different Anne. <laughs> Um, Chris and Angela have joined us from a cloudy Newbury. Ooh, um, she's been she's been gadding. You've been gadding about. She was away with away for a weekend with her friend. Giovanni Panisi show. Let me entertain you and Salts Mill as well. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Good afternoon, Sue. Good afternoon, Mum. Pauline's here and says that she lives in a port town and they can surprise you. Yeah, honestly, it was it was beautiful. Um, Lorraine, hello, hello. And Jana, hello. Awesome. OK, so. So do continue to put in your little co your comments about what you've been up to um this past week whilst i kind of dive straight in to the retiring list okay so i'm just going to move move my nice catalog out of the way um there are a lot of products retiring there are some surprising products retiring so um if you're planning on placing an order sometime soon, then make sure, please, you pay attention to the retiring list. So here's here's the important things and the dates that you need to know. The retiring list is out now, but the discounts do not start until the 9th of April. That's weeks away. Um, I don't know, one, two, three weeks away. Um, I think it's three weeks. So the items on the list, not everything is discounted, but some items are discounted between, I think, 20% and 60%. There are a lot of discounts. Um, and a lot of, yeah, like I said, a lot of things going. Um, I always print my list out quite big because these old eyes like big sheets. <laughs> I like big letters and big numbers. And in the annual catalogue, there are six pages of retiring stuff. So what I would say, my recommendation to you is if you've got an order going in in March or before the 9th of April, you stock up on your essentials and um, anything on the retiring list that you want that isn't discounted. So I'm going to say that again. So pick the stuff that you want that isn't discounted because there is a potential that that will go before the retiring list officially launches. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. Um, obviously, you don't really want to be buying stuff that's discounted at the full price, um, but it depends how much you want something. It's the same as everything, isn't it? Um, but you will get a copy of this list at the latest tomorrow morning. You might get it tonight. I'm currently working on it. So in order for me to get it into a state for you to read it, I take out all the duplicate items. I take out the French and German items. I take out things that are confusing. So sometimes it will say a bundle is retiring, but in the new catalog, you can still buy the stamps and the dies or the stamps and the punch. It's just that the 10% discount is going away. But the thing is, if you see that the bundle's going, 
you assume everything's going. Um, so I tweak the list. <laughs> so just to try and um, make it easier for you, I'll send it out as a PDF. So it should print out the right size and everything else. Um, and I always sort it in catalog page number order. So you can basically get your catalog and just flick the pages and go, oh, OK, so that one's retiring, that one's retiring and so on. But I also want you to know that there are going to be some price increases. So let me just pull this up ooh, not that one da, 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 bear with me okay so there are going to be some pricing changes so as i'm sure you're aware we uh stamping up change their prices with a new annual catalog they don't kind of change their prices midway through um so there are price increases on the ink refills and the blends um, cardstock, some of the punches, um, things like the cut and emboss machine is going up and some of the glues and things are going up. So as always, um, buy the stuff that you need sooner rather than later. The price increases won't come into effect until the catalogue launches on the 1st of May. So you've got all the rest of March and April to, to look at that. OK, so um, I'm just going to show you a few of the stamp sets that, that are going. And, and there's a bit of sadness going on here because <laughs> I'm a bit freaked out by one of them. Um, but. Um, let me, yeah, let me just, let me just show you a few of these that are going. So this one's going artistically inked, quiet meadows going, inked and tiled is going. That's got one of my favorite happy birthdays in it. This one's going phrases for all. This is my new happy birthday. I only bought that a little while ago. So I'm sad that that one's going. Zany Zoo's going. So if you need a knitting llama, you need to get that. Dainty Delight is going. Um, Petal Park is going. The Punch is going as well. These are all ones that I use quite a lot of. So this one, Petal Park, is 20% off. This one, Cottage Reefs, is 60% off. So from the 9th of April, this will be £7.20. Nature's Prints, that's going. This isn't all the stamp sets that are going, but these are, <laughs> these are some of my favourites I've just pulled off the shelf. Bottled with happiness and the punch and the um, shaker, shaker things, they're going as well. And then this. We're going to have to have like a little memorial for this stamp set going because I'm so sad. <laughs> Biggest wish is going. So it's going. In good news, the Christmas version is staying. But this one is not reduced. So it's £16. So if this has been on your list forever and you just haven't got round to getting it, get it now. <laughs> Amanda says, get it now. Um, okay, so... There are things like Pansy Patch, which is a really beautiful pansy stamp set, and there's dies to go with it. 
that's 60% off. But let me just actually, let me get it, show you. So I want you to be really aware of the bundle pricing and then the individual prices. So that's the Pansy Patch stamp set. And then the dies are. Do, 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 do. Dies are here, look. Dies are here. And they're 60% off as well. But you need to make sure that you buy them individually. So normally, a bundle price means you get 10% off. But with the retired list, often either the stamp set or the dies are reduced and the difference is more than 10%. So it's usually better to buy the items individually. So just check your prices. So that's the first thing. The next thing is there are three blocks going, acrylic blocks. So and the A block is going, which is the teeniest one. The I block is going and the G block is going. So three of the blocks are going and the caddy that um, holds them all is also going so there's the, there's a little image there so the a block which is the teeniest one is going the g block which astounds me because i use that all the time and i use that particularly for um, 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 best family ever, and the eye block is going. So, and none of those are reduced. So, I would absolutely recommend if you need blocks, you get blocks. Some pu punches are going, the dragonfly punch is going, the double oval punch is going. The decorative circle punch is going. Um, the decorative circle punch is was going to be fifty percent off. The dragonfly punch is going to be fifty percent off. Um, so so that's all kind of crazy. Merry Melody and Time Worn Type. My Time Worn Type is probably one of my most used embossing folders that's going um and then then there are some more surprising things so vellum is going uh that's completely confused me um the eight by six cellophane bags are going um initially i was quite surprised about that but the reality of it is i use paper bags now so, actually, I'm not that surprised. Um, very vanilla, thick cardstock. So, not the ordinary vanilla, but the thick vanilla is going, as are the vanilla note cards and envelopes, as are the C6, the standard size, very vanilla envelopes. So, you'll be able to get vanilla card, but not vanilla envelopes. So if you want everything to match, then get your vanilla envelopes. And then the gilded leafing is going, which is sad, and the heat and stick powder is going. Um, the embossing powder, emboss, heat embossing powders are also showing as going. They're not really going. We're getting a different brand in. So... They can't, I've taken them off the list because the reality is they're not actually going. That makes sense, hopefully. So, Belimey O'Reilly. Um, it's yeah, it's going to be all change, but I am embracing it. So I'm just going to have a slurp of my coffee. Um. 
I'm embracing the change. Got 2024, I have decided this is going to be a year of throwing everything in the air and changing it as it scatters down. Um, it's going to be fine. Um, my my shelves, I haven't taken everything off my shelves yet. My shelves are looking a little bare. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I always take all of the retiring stuff off my shelves. I don't use it because I, whenever I do over the, the past 17 years, whenever I've used something, somebody always wants it and they're really sad when they can't buy it because it's retired. So I take it all off my shelves and um, I get it rehomed <laughs> to um, uh, in my bog off sales or eBay as well. So I do sell some stuff on eBay. But that those are the things that are, that's how I move things along. But it means then I have space for new stuff. And since I've already bought quite a lot from <laughs> new catalogue, um, yeah, I won't have space for long. So what what else do I need to tell you? Oh, with the new catalogue, I've already figured out what we're doing for May craft along and probably June craft along. Um, so I'm a little bit excited about all of that. So. I think you're going to love it. I just, it's awesome. So, so when Biggest Wish finally departs, it's going to be a very sad day. Um, but then I'll get excited with new stuff. Hi, Ali. Good, good to see you. Okay, so. What I thought I would do today is two quick bits of crafting. So the first is a new kit, which I am excited about. And the second is a, a, a variation of a previous project I've done. Um, I'm making it a bit, bit taller because... I needed something to put my chocolate in. This is this is this is actually Belgium Belgian chocolate from Rotterdam. So I've bought Belgian chocolate from the Netherlands. Um, but look how cute is that little bunny bunny face? They're both open. <laughs> Got two packets and they're both open. Not nothing to do with me and everything. Oh, how cute are they? So anyway, so I thought I would do a little bag that we can put Easter chocolate in. Um, you know, because Easter is a coming. Apparently it's next week. Just in case anybody like me had not figured out that it was next week. Um, yeah, it's all a bit crackers, really. So new kit and a little bag. So let me. Switch the camera around and let's, let's get started with this kit. So it launched last week and I haven't even taken it out yet, but it is a completely different kit. We have not had anything like this before. It's called Frog and Friends and it's six little games. Now, do you remember um, having a game with like a cone and um, a ball on a string that you had to catch? And um, that is what this is. And there are three different images. So there's a frog, a little fish, and a shark. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get started. I don't know how many. I might do one of each, actually, because then you can see all of them. That would be 
Cup and ball game, says Karen. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Throwing it on the floor. So let's get rid of that. So we've got the twine. Oh, okay. So we've got pieces. And look, they've already got sticky on. That is really cool. Oh, so they're red on the inside. Ta-da! And they've got foily, sparkly bits. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the rubbish on the floor is I'm going to put one of each back. Googly eyes. We've got stickers for um, these. Now, these acrylic pieces, these are really quite hefty. So, ooh, you've got, so there's a bug for the frog. Ooh, or is, oh. <laughs> yeah, the bug is for the frog. There's a worm, which is for the fish. And then a fish, which is for the, what's it for? For the shark. Okay. So rubbish, rubbish. And then we've got those pieces as well. Okay. Ali's saying that if you observe Lent, you know exactly when Easter is. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure you do especially those of you that aren't eating chocolate um, or, you know, whatever type of, of fasting that you're doing. And Anne is saying the whole year is a bit topsy-turvy for some reason. Yeah, it's, it's all been a bit crackers. Okay, so it says to cut 12 inches of string so i know the a4 cardstock is a little bit over a little bit under 12 inches so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut i'm going to cut all of it now i think this will work as a great activity if you've got some younglings coming to visit. Um, equally, you know, birthday parties as as a um, an activity instead of like a party bag, this would making one of these would really work. So how many have we got now? There we go. Okay. So one, two, three. Actually, I could have done those longer, but that's okay. There we go. So we're going to take this one. I'm following this, so it's saying... Put it this way, peel off the backing and put your bit of string, let me just put these to one side, put your bit of string where the, there's an arrow, can you see that arrow, where the arrow is, there like that, ta-da, and then Okay, so, and then what you want to do is it's got a little score line, hopefully you can see. You're going to fold that on that score line and make sure you're sort of lining it up at the edge and press it down. But what you're not doing is you're not creasing this piece because you want somewhere for the, it to go.
And then you just press that like that. Ta da! Okay. So then we get the googly eyes. So the googly eyes go on there. This is so cool. I've then got to get the little frog legs. And frog arms. Do frogs have arms? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the frog legs. Go underneath. Okay, so I'm going to turn that over. The frog arms and the frog legs go underneath. So I've turned it over. So can you see there's like a little square there? And that is where you are going to position that, that leg. So you're just following the pattern. And then the same with that little piece there for the frog arms. Ooh. And oh, we are just going to fold that down like that. And there's a little score line that you're just going to bend. Fold it like that. Ooh. And then we need to get the little fly or the bug. I'm going to stick the sticker on it. So there's your little bug. And then we're just going to tie this on. Now, a little person that's fingers and thumbs will probably need a little bit of help with this. Um, but the, all the rest of it is just undoing things and peeling things. It'll be brilliant. So there you go. So there's your little fly. Move that out of the way. And it kind of, <laughs> so this is going to be, can Amanda do this? Actually, no, I'm not going to be able to do it because if I throw it up in the, well, I don't know. <laughs> I think that was cheating. But I'll, I'll kind of throw it up and try and catch it. Da -da -da. I think you need to do it not under a camera. But there we go. So there's the frog. Let's see if I can speed up. Now I know what I'm doing with these other two. So again, you've got the arrow there, look, with where the thread is going. And then, interesting. Oh, look, you see, you have to pay attention because you have to put this on next. So that's going on there. So 
So there's a little score line there. So squish that. So that's going there. So you, again, you're just squishing at the bottom. <laughs> Ali's saying it's a good fin. I looked. Oh dear. Oh, and I'm just sticking that down the wrong way now. It's because I'm giggling. Hang on. Uh, right, so that goes in and that one goes on top. There we go. Okay, that's good. Okay, right. So, so it goes this way, look. Like that way. Let's get the googly eyes on and then we'll know which way it's actually going. So that's one that way. <laughs> I like a good pun, Ali. It's good. Right. Da -da -da. He's cool, isn't he? Right. So we've got a fin at the top and dorsal fins. I guess that's what they are. So again, I just need to pay attention to which way up they're going. So I'm looking, I'm referencing this image all the time. And it is just images. So um, little people who can't actually read yet, this will work. I mean, obviously they'll need, they'll need help, but. That's very cool. And then <laughs> Teresa's saying she can see I'm I'm enjoying it. I absolutely am. It is good. Crafting is good. We like to we like to be crafting. Okay, so there's a little fish. There's a little shark. So, I've got to put a little fish on there. Ooh! Ted tore his tail off. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Now, I'll try not to tear the tail off this one. They're very sticky. Okay, I'm not going to try and play this game again since we've ascertained that I can't actually whack it in the air high enough to actually make a game with it on camera. But believe you me, I will be playing later. I'll show you all three of them when they're all done. Um, okay, so last one. And there'll still be time for me to show you the other bag as well. Ha. Hooray. So, let's see. Da, 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 da. So, again. Ooh. You put the thread in first. And then... You've got the fin. And that goes in over the top. To peel off that bit as well. So with then, this piece is going to fold in first. And then this piece gonna fold in and over the top and just just pay attention to lining things up get it as square as you can and then kind of squish it on the inside there we go googly eyes da -da -da. Little worm, 
love the bright colours on this as well. Very cool. Clearly, the stickiness is making it stick to my fingers, not to the acrylic. Right, okay. Just tie that one up. And then figure out where the fins are going. Ooh, and now all of a sudden my fingers have decided not to tie a knot. I will tidy up the the string. And what I would say um, is, if you if you have enthusiastic people who are going to be playing this, you might want to put like a little dot of uh, clear nail polish on on the string to to sort it out. Um, so we've got these little the little squares there again. Oh, so those are going. down there look. wow those are some fancy fins there look and i love this has got foiling on it as well because it'll catch the light that's so cool okay so we got a little fishy Oh, we've got a shark. And we've got a frog. How cool is that? And the kit uh, makes six. So you get two fish and two sharks and two frogs. That's very cool. Okay. Da -da -da. Go on then, Ali. Ali's asking us the question. Does anyone want to answer, Ali? What do you call a fish with no eye? You'll have to tell us. Um, they are very cute, Margaret. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with them. So, okay, so that's that's the first thing I needed to show you. Um, so now I'm going to uh, make a bag and I'm going to use one of the clear envelopes. Now I haven't actually checked. I don't think they are on the retiring list. I don't think they are. Do, do, do. No, they're not. Hurrah for that. Um, so these hold like a standard size card, um, but I thought I could put the chocolates in them later. Now, one new and awesome thing about the new catalogue is some papers are carrying forward. Now, <laughs> oh, Ali, that actually only works typed. So the answer to the what do you call a fish with no eye is fish, <laughs> which is F-S-H. <laughs> oh, dear. OK, right. So let me tell you, this paper is in the new book. I am so excited because it is so beautiful. So this is uh, the painted lavender paper. It's in the new book. Countryside Inn is in the new book. That's the blue and white paper. Let me just tell you. Um, I, I've got my catalogue here. I can't, like I said, I can't show you. So Bright and Beautiful is also um, in the new catalogue as well. 
Um, so, and Winter Meadow. Now, have I got, ooh, ooh, yeah. Okay, so I can show you from this catalog because it's an old catalog. So page 36. So Winter Meadow was in the autumn winter catalogue and we did uh, use it on one of the craft alongs, but it is beautiful. It's got the, do you remember the deer, the grey deer? So there are, I don't know, four papers, I think, from the old, uh, from previous catalogues that have made it into the new book. So I am super excited about that because it just means that we can carry on using our favourite paper. Right, I'm just getting a scrap of card so that I can write the sizes on this. Okay, so this patterned paper is six inches by 12 inches and I am going to get my trimmer out <coughs> excuse me and the card is seven inches by four and a half inches and you're going to score at one and a half inches on all four sides if you can't read that hopefully we'll be able to but if you can't don't worry yourself too much um i will make sure it's in the description box so um when the video is finished I can put information in the box at the bottom so that's four and a half by seven hi Helen all right so we're going to score this at one and a half on all four sides So let's just reinforce this. Now, this is great because you can get two of these out of one sheet of cardstock and one sheet of patterned paper. Um, and they just go really quickly. You, you can make them really quickly and you can store them kind of like this um ready just to be glued up so i am just going to make this into a box so i'm just cutting up on one side of each of the squares and we're going to fold that to make a box now normally when i make a box i put these tabs on the inside but because you're going to be able to see inside the box because the paper is going to wrap around the outside i'm actually going to stick these to the outside so can you see um where this is it comes really close to the edge and i don't want it peeking out at the top or the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim a diagonal sliver off each of the squares. Okay, like that. And it's going to be covered by the paper anyway, but just what it means is it. It's, it's not going to stick out. 
Oh, Lorraine's pleased about painted lavender. Yeah, I am too. Such a beautiful paper. Such a beautiful paper. Okay, so I'm just using my trusty Tombow. Okay, so that's kind of what it's going to to look like. And then I'm going to get the double-sided tape. Now, normally I use Tombow with, with um, boxes and things. But with this, we're going to put it on the paper. So it's much easier to do it this way. So what we're going to do is put double-sided tape along the bottom and along one edge. Now if you just rub over the top of this, it will release the uh, tape liner. And what we're going to do is peel this off the bottom and starting at the edge that doesn't have the sticky bit on it, so on this bit, what we're going to do is stick this down halfway across the back, uh, across one of the edges. So the open bit is going upwards and we're going to stick it just there like so. And you're just going to line it up with the bottom of the box. Now, when you get to a corner, what we don't want to do is put a crease line in here because we want it to kind of look like a tote bag so what you want to do is bend it round but kind of pinch the corner so it's a nice tight seal but it's not it's not scored up there and then just follow it round sticking it down you're going to get to the next corner and squash it down at that corner and you're going to go all the way along the front like that okay now this is now quite a tall bag because it's a six inch six inch bag um we're going to go around the next corner but be aware that you've got this sticky strip and that is going to attach to this. It's going to overlap. So or once you get to this corner, you're going to stop and pull that tape off. Because if you actually stick it down all the way around, you won't be able to get your fingers in to get the last bit of tape. So again, give it a squish on that corner. Press it along that edge on the next corner. Press it down. Okay. So it's at this point you want to peel that off. And you're going to just take this last piece down and you've actually got about an inch overlap. So just wiggle it just to make sure that your top and bottom are kind of level and then just rub it down so you've got like a seam there which is just sort of offset. Okay, if 
you've got anything that's slightly wibbly a little snip we'll just straighten that edge right out okay so now i'm going to use my oh, one and three quarter inch circle punch and just slide it in and i'm sliding it in as far as it will go and punch out keep that because i can put that on a card and then we're going to flip the bag around do exactly ooh, exactly the same now be aware because you've got two layers of paper here so um you're going to use a little bit more force make sure again it's in the middle and punch and then look you've got a perfect lined up um hole so what we can do is we can put our bunnies actually i'll put some bunnies and some of the little chips in here And then I'm just going to seal that down. Anybody would think I measured that. <laughs> and then, um, because, you know, you might want to not let somebody get into, into it until they've eaten their dinner. Although in our house, Christmas and Easter chocolate doesn't count. So you can you can have Christmas and Easter chocolate whenever you receive it. You can just eat it. Um, so there we go. Now, obviously, you could use these as a as a tag. Um, but all I've done is just tied it up with a bow or you could put a an embellishment on that how cool is that it's just awesome so let me get my little things out so we i know i've overrun um i'm five minutes over but i had so many things to tell you today and so much crafting today there we go so that is everything for me today. I'm just going to disappear off and eat the rest of my chocolate. Um, if, <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Um, I will email you out um, the retiring list and all the information and kind of my must get soon list um particularly to do with the price increases and things and um that'll all go out like i said it might go out today but it may go out in the morning um if you are awaiting your craft along kit they are almost <laughs> almost done um and they'll be going in the post first class so they will be with you for next week so it's all in all, it's all been a bit crazy and a bit, um, yeah, well, just crazy, really. Um, but I've had a wonderful time away and um, and I'm really pleased to be back. And I'm really excited about the the, the new things and the changes and and everything that's that's happening or happening within Stamping Up right now. So. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing it all with you as and when I can, because it will be bit by bit I'm allowed to share. OK, so take care of yourselves. I will see you all back here next week. Goodbye.